A group of international scientists has gathered in Victoria this week looking to unlock the mysteries of the deep, particularly in the earthquake uh, zones in our oceans. The Joydis Resolution Research Ship is set to sail, or about to set sail at least, for the Strait of Juan de Fuca, where it's going to drill a hole nearly 530 meters deep. That's about the length of four football fields. But as A-News reporter Stephen Andrew shows us, with a click of the mouse, you'll soon be able to see what the scientists are discovering in the cold depths of the ocean. The crew of the Joydis Resolution is getting ready for its next expedition. The research vessel has spent the past two months drilling two holes in the ocean floor in the Juan de Fuca Ridge. This week, the vessel returns to the strait to drill another. Scientists gather core samples from thousands of meters beneath the ocean bed. The hole is then capped with a wellhead containing sophisticated monitoring equipment. You have 25, 28 scientists on board, and maybe we'll have 14 or 15 different nationalities among that group. Um, and it's a very interesting environment to be in. The drilling project is beginning to learn more about the movement of water beneath the Earth's crust and how it affects the balance of life in the world's oceans. Scientists predict that the amount of salt water in the crust is 2,000 times greater than the world's fresh water supply, being drawn in through cold vents and later blown out through undersea eruptions. It's only in the mid-70s that scientists learned this phenomenon existed. And as they studied the ocean bed, they discovered creatures living in conditions without light and in high concentrations of sulfur. As the project grew, they also learned the ocean floor was a pristine laboratory to study more accurately the movement of the Earth's crust and the risk of earthquakes. Um, the measurements we make are being made in um, an environment that's thermally very stable. Uh, we typically see only um, hundreds of a degree temperature variations um, from year in and year out. So um, the instruments which m might suffer on land, that is non-existent on the seafloors. And that is exactly what the team plans to do when it drills its next well in the Strait of Juan de Fuca. And this ship has a connection to the University of Victoria's Neptune project that is monitoring the ocean floor. This sensor in the next few days will be lowered 1,300 meters onto the wellhead where it will monitor the pressure of the ocean and the Earth's crust. A cable will be attached to the unit and it will send signals back so that scientists from all over the world from their computers can monitor the activity. We'll learn a lot more what the expected ground motion might be, how the Earth deforms during rupture processes to generate tsunamis. To you know, have that understanding um, is, uh, gives us a, a, a huge step forward in terms of uh, identifying hazards. And with Vancouver Island sitting on a major fault line, the scientists believe these are hazards that they will one day be able to predict, hopefully, before the next earthquake hits. In Victoria, Stephen Andrew, A News.